<clears throat> the verdicts read as follows. As to count one of the information, Isaac Schumann, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree reckless homicide as submitted. Question, did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count two of the information, Alexander Martin, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count three of the information, Dante Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count four of the information, Anthony Carlson, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count five of the information, Riley Madison, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree recklessly endangering safety as submitted. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. As to count six of the information, Madison Cohen, the jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of battery as charged. Did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. Uh, members of the jury, uh, I do have to verify that this is in fact a unanimous verdict. Uh, so I'm going to ask each of you if I correctly read the verdict uh, and if you agree with it. Uh, so when I call your name, uh, if you agree with the verdict that I read, please answer by saying yes. If you disagree with the verdict, you can answer by saying no. Uh, Ms. Navarro, uh, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Mr. Cook, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Mr. Snell, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. Pelzel, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wiley, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, Ms. Knapp, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Diedrich, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. McMahon, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Henderlong, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Mr. Ashland, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. McMullen, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Ms. Lewandowski, do you agree with the verdict that I read? Yes. Uh, any additional polling? No? All right. It is a unanimous verdict. Members of the jury, your service in this case is completed. Uh, you are free to read accounts about this trial. Uh, you are free to talk about this case with anyone. However, uh, you do not have to discuss this case with anybody or answer any questions about this case other than from the court. So this includes the parties, the lawyers, the media, or anybody else. If you do decide to discuss this case with anyone, please treat any such discussion with a degree of solemnity, such that whatever you would say, you'd be willing to say in front of your fellow jurors or here in open court. It is in the public interest that there be the utmost freedom of debate in the jury room and that jurors be permitted to express their views without fear of incurring the anger of any litigants or the public. For that reason, please respect the privacy of the views of your fellow jurors. If you do decide to speak, please only speak for yourselves and not for anybody else. On behalf of my colleagues, Judges Needham, Vlack, and Nordstrand, along with my courtroom staff, thank you for your participation in this important case. Court is now adjourned. Please take the jury out. <laughs>